It's the eve before tax day, and as part of our rebound segment, we wanted to make sure that you're prepared. 23 ABC's Kristen Vartan joins us live in downtown with some last-minute tips from a local tax professional. Hey, Kristen. Hey, Bayan. Let's face it, doing taxes can be, well, as the name calls it, taxing. But we do have some information from a tax professional in town. She gave us a nice little checklist. So make sure you have your W-2 form, your unemployment papers, your registration cards, all of that on the list. But she has some other tips for you right here. It's officially crunch time to crunch those numbers. Monday is tax day and here's how you can file to your advantage. First, go to that drawer with all your receipts. Local tax professional Ruth Escobar says they may be deductible. Now, sometimes they do count as reducing the amount that you're paying. And sometimes you're just, you know, stacking them up so that they can make a difference to the tax amount that you owe. For business owners, she says anything they've spent money on is deductible, like mileage. For individuals, mortgage interests, real estate taxes, mortgage insurance, and medical bills. Especially now with COVID, it's important that any medical bills paid out of pocket, you are reporting it to your tax preparer to see if that's gonna make a difference uh, with you receiving more of a refund with it helping you know, pay down the amount that you're owing as well. Escobar adds that for people that have not received their stimulus, which is not taxable, you may want to check with your tax professional to see if their system allows requests to the IRS to get that first or second stimulus in the form of a tax return. Of course, it's going to be verified and uh, by the IRS um, that you have received it or not, and then we can um, get that direct deposited into your account. For collegiates, there's also a student income credit you may qualify for. For business owners, you can look into an employment retention credit. So that credit is up to, I believe, uh, $10,000 per quarter for employers that have W-2 employees. And individuals who qualify, you also have until Monday to put a portion of your income into IRA to reduce tax liability. Plus, there's a chance you can earn income credit on the state taxes in addition to federal ones. A lot of people are not claiming that, which is a big difference. It could go all the way up to $2,000 to $3,000 earned income credit uh, received for the state. And if you're down to the wire, check your post office hours to make sure you don't miss certifying the money you owe the IRS. Right now they're closing at 5 p.m. So you have to be um, make sure you get that, that mark that you sent that out May 17th by the time the post office closes. Now, Escobar says there is an extension after tomorrow to file your taxes, but not to pay. So make sure that whatever you think you owe the IRS, you get that right to them straight away by on. Well, I heard that you actually filed your taxes, so you're OK. <laughs> yeah, I did. Like on the first day I was able to and I had to get a tax person <laughs> because all those tips you mentioned there, uh, I would have just juggled them all over the place and gotten lost. So, Kristen, I know 2020 has been a difficult yeah. year for a lot of people, but what happens if you don't file your taxes? So if you don't file your taxes on time, you might get some penalty fees and added interest rate. So you want to make sure that you get those done right away. But of course, if you are having trouble paying those taxes, she does also say that there are waived fees that you can apply for from the IRS. But you got to get that done before tomorrow or by the deadline of 11.59 p.m. tomorrow. And Kristen, have you filed your taxes? I have indeed, but I got to say, as one of the newer um, tax filers out there, I definitely did benefit from these tips. So mm -hmm. we're going to post that on our website too, turn to 23.com and make sure that if anyone needs them, they're going to be there. But yes. live in downtown Bakersfield, Kristen Barton, 23 ABC News, connecting you.